I did it again. I did it again. I got a haul, another haul for you. It's geeking time. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. How you doing all out there? Guys, it is September. You know what that means? Summer's ending. We're heading into spooky season. I cannot wait. No, this is not a spooky season themed video. There's gonna be some, a lot more of those at the end of September, but mainly in October. I will be doing some scary horror related videos. Scary, I mean. But yes, so today I have a haul for you guys. I actually bought all this stuff before I went on vacation. Okay, look, I know it's only one bag this time. It's a brown paper bag. So everything fit in here. Still quite a lot of stuff because a lot of this stuff is very small. <laughs> so basically what I did was I went, uh, I actually bought a couple of things from Xien, the website, like that clothing and everything website. Got some stuff from there. Uh, got some stuff from a place called Sunrise Records. Some stuff and some stuff from GameStop and Dollarama. So it's just a big old haul. And I also actually, my wife got something for her birthday that she uh, allowed me to show off to you guys on camera. So with that being said, let's get into another edition of Boomers Hall. Yeah. I'm just preparing myself because I talk a lot. That's the only reason why. <laughs> now, like I said, um, my wife got something for her birthday. And I, I just, I asked her if I can show this off uh, in part of the haul. I know it's not mine, but it does kind of fit into the theme of the things that, you know, we do like. So she got this for her birthday and she was super excited because I know that in a lot of stores that we've looked at, I don't know if it's like that in the States or what, or out, everywhere else in Canada, but I know in Quebec, a lot of the stores that I've gone to, collectible shops, shops that sell pops, even like GameStop, Toys R Us, uh, this character is completely sold out. And I think even like when I looked on... Crunchyroll's website, it was it was not in stock either. So I was able to grab him, snag him from Amazon. Uh, yes, I got it from my wife for her birthday. Uh, this is one of her favorite, uh, this comes from one of her favorite animes of all time. This is her, one of her favorite anime characters actually. So I ended up picking up uh, Vash the Stampede for her from Trigun. Uh, and I'm not gonna take him out of the box because out of respect to my wife, this is her figure, she can take it out of the box. I'm just going to show you guys like I did the last time with one of the pops I showed off that she got. So there you go. There's Vash the Stampede. Um, kind of cool. I mean, I kind of wish that like they made a chase version of Vash the Stampede with his sunglasses. And I kind of wish that it wasn't the chase version that had the sunglasses. I wish that the regular version had the sunglasses. But I mean, all in all, nonetheless, it's a cool looking little figure. Didn't pay very much for it either. I mean, pops are depends really and it, like I said it does say Crunchyroll on the back so that's why I looked on Crunchyroll's website and I it wasn't in stock either so pretty cool we got Vash the Stampede to start off right there all right so that's my wife's stuff out of the way now we're getting into this bag which kind of feels like it's gonna rip very soon this bag is just from one place where uh, Sunrise Records but I was able to fit everything in here so that being said the first thing I'm gonna pull out so I went on Xien and I bought myself a couple of t-shirts and it fits well because spooky season's coming. So these are some horror style t-shirts and the first t-shirt I got is this um, portal to the cat dimension t-shirt. I don't like cats at all. So that's why I find this to be very ironic and funny. So yeah, just a bunch of demonic cats coming to the portal. Kind of kind of looks like Sabrina from the Twisted Tales of Sabrina or whatever it's called. Yeah, Portal to the Cat Dimension and Other Nightmares. Uh, definitely one of my nightmares. Definitely one of my nightmares. I do not like cats. The other t-shirt to go along with that was already in my hand. I didn't pull it out. Of, well, you didn't see me pull out a bag on camera, but the other t-shirt is this one right here that I've been looking at for quite some time and finally got it. So this is Meet Your Doppelganger Activities for Children. I love this t-shirt. It's so cool looking. I actually saw it in a Spencer's in Ottawa. And I just thought to myself, well, if I ever I can, like, I don't know how often I go to Ottawa. So I was able to see it online. I was like, yeah, you know what? I had it in my, my cart for Shen for like about a year. And finally I was like, well, let's grab it. Just love it. The vibrant colors are so nice. Really cool looking t-shirts. So, so I've already worn this one here. And the, well, I've already worn both of them. But 
Now with spooky season and fall come in, I'm definitely gonna wear them a lot more. That's it for the clothing. Uh, the next are just some, some, some collectibles. And yes, there are three things in here that are not toy collectibles. Uh, actually, there's also a book in here. Let's start with the book, to be quite honest. I'll pull that book out first. So, I was gonna do this in my comic book haul that I've got coming up, but I decided I'll do it for you guys here because I was actually supposed to get a try, I'm not trying, <laughs> that's the pop. I was supposed to get Hellblazer volume one, but by the time of this recording, uh, I've been waiting, I've been waiting now for two weeks to get it. So it's supposed to be coming this sometime this coming week by the time I'm filming this video. So I'll just show that one off instead when I do my comic book haul. But this is Excel volume three, I've already got volumes one and two. So now this is gonna continue on the storyline for Excel. Uh, and it's basically a speedster. So I love The Flash. And not the movie though. If you guys have seen the movie, yeah, let me know what you guys thought of that movie. I know a lot of people loved it or hated it. I didn't hate it, but I just, I don't know. I didn't think it was the greatest either. That's just me. So some kind of, some, some neat artwork in here. The story's kind of cool. Like I said, he's a speedster and I'm just trying to find, there we go. So yeah, pretty cool story. I'm not gonna lie. And, uh, if you, get a, if you get your hands on reading Excel, I would definitely suggest, you know, taking a look at it. It's a pretty cool comic book. I mean, Catalyst Prime is what it's from. Flying Forge Comics, Catalyst Prime, I don't think they're around anymore, so that's why you're finding a lot of these in the Dollaramas. But if you can find it, go ahead and check it out. I, I recommend it. That comes from the Dollarama. Uh, I have a Batman and a Catwoman from, the, well, not this specific line, but they're the Batman missions. This is from, I'm not sure what type of line this is from, Creature Chaos, I guess. This is a Spin Master first, first edition. Found this in the dollar store, and this is from, this was released in 2020. So we've got the Joker, and he comes with like these little mystery accessories. I am not quite sure. On the back there it says like, what mission will you get? So. I thought that was pretty neat to go with Batman and Catwoman. Hang him up in my office. Yeah, why not? I mean, there's not much more that I can say really on that. And then the other things to go along with that, these are cool, I really like these. And I already have, you know, uh, the Thing, Mr. Fantastic. I'm pointing up because they're up on my wall. Like I have this display coming down of the figures. So I'll, I'll show you, you guys will probably see that in the corner. Of the Thing, Mr. Fantastic, the Incredible Hulk, um, Venom. Papa Emeritus the second from Ghost, and then those Batman figures. So to go along with those, uh, I got more of the, well, I found more of the retro Hasbro Kenner, well, Kenner figure style. Uh, so this is the Dark Phoenix, and I just love X-Men so much. I love that Dark Phoenix storyline. So yeah, there's the back of the card right there. So just a really neat little, little tiny figure of the Dark Phoenix, Jean Grey. So there's that. Uh, then we got the Falcon. Comes with Red Wing, which is really neat. So there you go on the back. Just gives some description of Falcon. And then finally, we've got uh, Wolverine. So there you go. I mean, just recently, Marvel has been releasing the facsimiles of the first cameo and the first appearance of Wolverine. So that would be pretty cool to put on display next to those two, actually, I kind of think. There's your read up. So pretty cool. I'm definitely going to put those guys up on the wall uh, next to the other one. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, let's see. You know what, these, I got three very thin things and I'm gonna do those last because I don't really normally show that kind of stuff off of my channel. So I'll do those last and I'm still going on to figures. You guys already saw that I have um, Kenny Omega from the AEW and Rival collection as Akuma from Street Fighter. So I went back and I picked up the Young Bucks. So first thing we have is Nick Jackson as Ken. Cool looking figure. I mean, I love a young, I love the Young Bucks. Now this is my second set of Young Bucks figures. So I have the Young Bucks like in their actual gear. Now I got Nick Jackson here and he comes with some interchangeable hands an interchangeable head. And this is for based on their uh, appearance on Fighter Fest. And I, I can't really see on the inside, but on the side of their pants, it says, uh, Street Bucks, so that's really awesome. That's a really cool, cool looking figure. I'm gonna put my water to the side because I got more stuff to show off. So yeah, to go along with Nick Jackson, uh, then I got Matt Jackson. So again, interchangeable head with a cloth good bandana, or just soft good, sorry, and his uh, soft good 
So they, they, they can re you can remove the vest that they're on them. So like you just want to pose them normally, like without the vest on too. It's guns with a slew of hands, and he's supposed to be Ryu. And again, so there's the back, and again it's from based on their appearance on Fighter Fest. So there we go. We have uh, Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks, as the Street Fighters, which will be displayed along with Kenny Omega as Ryu. So. Pretty damn cool. I got those at GameStop and I was super excited to grab those. Uh, the last thing I have in terms of collectible figures, because I have three other collectibles in here, but they're not figures or books or... It's new for my channel, so I'm really excited to show that off. And there's actually going to be another video that I'm going to do opening these things up and I'm getting ahead of myself, first of all. <laughs> so actually this one too, I will be doing a review on them on my channel. And I don't know what it is. I'm not a huge fan of the McFarlane Toys Page Punchers. I have the um, the like the seven inch uh, or six inch John Constantine, but that's a big old figure. I just don't like the regular page, page punchers that come with the comics. This one, however, and if I can find, you know, Gunslinger, that would be cool as well. But this one's really neat. I really want to grab this. This is the uh, page punchers, Spawn page punchers. That's basically comes with Spawn and Anti-Spawn, AKA Redeemer. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that it comes with Spawn issue number one. It really should have come with issue number, I think it's 14, the first appearance of Redeemer. So if you wanted to put that, you should put, I think they should put that comic in there. Um, the comic book included on the back and there's nothing really. So this is not really something I'm gonna display on the wall. This is actually something that I'm going to take out of the packaging and display the figures because they're just so damn cool looking. And I really like this a lot. Um, and I didn't pay very much either. It was it's not, not expensive at all, so. Also, so if you like Spawn and these are really interesting to you, they've been out for quite some time, but I, I think they only hit again, Quebec. We get things later. So they only hit Quebec recently. When I went to the GameStop, basically I was like, oh my God, there's none left. And there was one, this last one hidden at the back. And I was like, you know, I walked out with it. So yeah, definitely gonna do that for you guys. And now the last thing I have in here, uh, these are really cool. So this is something that I actually, um, I don't, have any of these in my collection. My wife has quite a few of these things and I decided it, it's it's time for me to start collecting some vinyl records. So I've got some vinyl records of three different eras of heavy metal music and well I mean that's gonna be an unboxing on my video very soon of the three eras of heavy metal. Uh, gonna have to put these down. I guess I'll put them back in the bag for now as my ring light's falling. I don't know what happened there. My ring light, my ring light was falling. So let me grab the first vinyl. I'm not, and I'm just gonna grab it random. So the first vinyl that I picked up was the uh, is the Sinister Urge Rob Zombie. That's an awesome, awesome album. This was actually I think one of the first. I actually this CD when it came out in 2001 was one of the first CDs I ever bought with my own money. So Sinister Urge there on the back. Love this album so much. Uh, recently, actually, Hellbilly Deluxe turned 25, and I'd actually like to get the Hellbilly Deluxe vinyl record. So that's cool. Uh, I'm not gonna open that right now. We're gonna open that in another video. The next one I have is, this is a live, well, actually the next two are live albums. This is Ghost, Ceremony, and Devotion Live, which was released in 2017. This is a two vinyl uh, LP, which is really cool. There's the back. The back looks really cool too. And I think these are all pressed on 180 gram vinyl. So that's really neat. So yeah, that's a cool vinyl as well. And then the last one, let's grab the last one from the bag and we'll put the bag to the side there. There we go. Uh, the last one, this is one of my favorite heavy metal bands of all time. And I think I consider this probably one of the, if not, if it's not in the top 10 for me or the top five, it's probably one of the top three. And I know that's a lot of fighting words live albums ever recorded from a heavy metal band. Iron Maiden Live After Death. So this is a really cool album. Actually, I did not get this from Sunrise Records. I'm wrong. I ordered this from uh, Indigo's website. So yeah, and there's the back of it. So really excited to have this vinyl as well. And I don't have a record player. However, I do think that now it's time since I'm starting a record, a vinyl collection, and my wife is amassing herself a vinyl collection. I think it's time now for the two of us to start getting, to buy, to, to maybe start, invest in a uh, turntable so we can play our vinyl records. And I think that vinyl is actually a really, I don't know, to me vinyl is, this, there's something about vinyl that, yes, CDs are great and so are MP3s, but there's something about vinyl that is just, 
it's so cool when you put when you drop the needle and yeah i'll talk more about this stuff in that following video that'll be the next video unboxing these vinyl records let me know down below what you thought of this haul um if you like that pop that i got from my wife was really cool uh, like i said i've been searching forever but let me know down below what you guys uh like the most in this haul whether it's the pop the t-shirts the, the collectible figures or even the vinyl records let me know down below i like i said i love every like i always say i love all this stuff this is the stuff that i've chosen for myself so of course i love all this stuff what are you guys collecting what are you guys reading what are you guys listening to? Do you collect vinyl records? This is brand new for me. This is new territory. So this is a lot of fun and I'm really excited to start foraying, you know, journeying into this. There's so much that I want to grab. Like I said, Hellbilly Deluxe. I also want to look for, you know, Slipknot albums on vinyl. So just a bunch of stuff. Even Kiss. Kiss is something that I want to grab on vinyl. Even Alice Cooper. There's so much that I want to grab now that I've opened up my, uh, my, my eyes to collecting vinyl records. But for now, I must bid you adieu. Please and thank you. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell to be notified whenever I got some brand new content up on my channel. It's literally the best way to find out whenever Boomer the Nerds got some new content up. Guys, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys coming into, coming into my channel, watching my videos, subscribing to my channels. Guys, let's get to 600 by the end of the year. We can do it, guys. I We can do it. I know we can. I know it. Thank you so much for everything, guys. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Stay cool. Stay nerdy. Keep hunting. Keep collecting. And as always, it's cool if it's nerd cool. Laters!